So, Shep, what does this championship mean to you back to back? You were fantastic again. How do you feel? I am good. A little bit different group of guys from last year, so I'm really excited for you know all the guys that weren't here last year to get to experience this. And uh, the guys that were here last year, you know, like that are here this year, you know, with Cherry on top of a uh, really good two years from this group of guys. It's been fun. What makes this year uh, special? Like the fact that Matt Strom came through. Like, how did this team get to the finishing point again as champions? Yeah, I think it was just uh, the fact that we didn't really face much adversity the whole season and. We faced a lot the last couple of weeks, whether it's just in a certain game or, you know, the Cleveland series or whatever. Uh, and we found out a lot about ourselves in the last two weeks, and we probably did the whole season. So uh, it's pretty cool to see all that unfold in a short amount of time at the end of the year. And that it worked out for us. How do you rate your year? This year you made your NHL debut. Uh, you were great in Washington a few stints. Like, you really accomplished a lot this year. Uh, are you looking forward to next year too? Now that the, the number two spot is is open up in Washington, uh, I gotta look ahead. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy this my teammates right now and go to my summer and do some fishing. And it's like the third out of the last four years that I played almost all July, so uh, just get some rest and uh, do my best wherever I'm at, whatever situation I'm in. And it's all you can do. You, know, it's, you can't sit there and worry about end results thing because it doesn't mean any good. Uh, you know, just sit here and worry about what was going to happen in the game all yesterday and the day before. I mean, I think we would have got the result that we wanted to tonight. So, you know, just take it one day at a time. That's all you can do. You know? And how do you always seemingly have ice in your veins? Uh, like, you are always so chill. I don't know how you do it. I think it's just experience. I've been in a lot of games like this. And, and I will, you know, like, things people don't see is when you lose them. I think you have to learn how to, you got to go through some of those. It's like on your path, like learning how to win, you know. Uh, sounds kind of cliche, but I think it's true. Uh, you know, like, how do you handle the losses, you know. Like, you have to get a bad game, especially in the playoffs and the games every other day. It's a lot of, it's a lot of game. You know, it's like, uh, you know, just like how do you respond to stuff? How do you bounce back from a bad game? It's easy when everything's going good, you know. Uh, you really find out a lot about yourself when things don't go well. So. Uh, what was it like in a, a goaltending battery with Clay Stevenson? Yeah, I mean, we're good friends, good teammates. I don't really look at it like that. You know, whoever, and I, I didn't, it didn't matter if it was me or him or not. We both gave a you know, team a good chance to win most of the time. All of a sudden, uh, it's good to have somebody like that because I think I learned a lot from him and hope he learned some from me. And uh, good because, you know, the guy who's in there is, you know, doing their best that they can for the team to help us win and if something would happen to me or if you know if I really want to struggle for a period of time here there's been no problem we want to play and I really want to have confidence in him too so uh, it's more of a not so much comp I mean it is competition I guess but it's not like that you know? yeah. yeah well and finally what was it like to win this at home oh it's great yeah, I mean it's pretty bizarre like kind of in a place like this Pennsylvania like I know, like, if you if you never heard about it mm -hmm. and you came to this game and that, it'd be like, you know, what the heck's going on here? But it's a special place, man. I don't think, uh, I don't think there's another place maybe in minor league sports, mm -hmm. you know, let yeah. alone hockey, obviously, that you can get that many people in there for a game and it's that loud. And, you know, it's, it's crazy, man. Obviously, last year was awesome, but the roof is about to come off this place when we won tonight, so it's fun. It's awesome. Man. I love Lanner, so.